Hey everybody, so here we are. We're pulling into the Winnebago factory tour parking lot right now. It's actually held at the visitor center. Unfortunately, we are not allowed to record inside the factory tour itself. There's a small museum inside this building. We're gonna record a little bit of that, but we're gonna go ahead and head inside, do the tour, and when we come back out, we'll talk about what we saw. And then the rest of this video will be what to do while not at the Winnebago factory tour. If you're, you're planning on taking a trip here and you're like, I don't wanna spend the time to travel here just for a two hour factory tour, what else is there to do? We're gonna go head in and we'll let you know what we think of the tour. So I just finished the Winnebago factory tour. We did. Yeah, we did. Definitely recommend it. We had a great time. We were very surprised. Oh, here it goes. Sabrina's sneaking in now. So we were very surprised at how much of it was handmade. We were impressed by the hand stitching of everything. The employees were there working by hand to put these together. And we were very impressed by the materials that they were using when we got to touch the fabrics. And just the stuffing of the uh, foam into your seats and everything like that, we were really impressed by the thought that went into it by shrinking the foam down, putting the material over, and then it expanded inside of and then it expanded back inside of the, the sofa again. And they we recycled, they recycled. That's yeah. awesome. They were big on the recycling. In fact, we found out that they only build an RV once one is purchased by the dealer. I don't know if that's common with everybody, but we did not know that that's how it was done. So we were impressed by that idea. It cuts down on waste. The RVs are on conveyors and everybody has a job to do. And when we were walking through, you know, I don't know if these they knew that we were walking through. I guess they do yeah, know they that we're walking us. through, but they were, they, the, the employees seemed very meticulous about everything they did. I mean, really concentrating on, on whatever part they were doing. If it was the window guy installing the windows, if it was a seamstress doing the stitching. I was really impressed by just the meticulous work that everybody was doing. The tour is two hours long. There's a decent amount of walking. They drive you around in a bus from section to section. And there's, there's stairs. stairs as well. There's a decent amount of stairs. But it's a great tour. Definitely recommend if you're in the area to check it out. And like I said, Sabrina and I are going to put a, look, a little video together of what to do if you do decide to come to Winnebago. What else is there here in Forest City while you're in town for the weekend? Once we figure it out. Once we figure it out. We're still working that part out. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll catch you later. Hey, so we're on our way heading to Pilot's Knob, which is apparently a hiking trail and a tower that everybody here in the Four City, Iowa area has recommended we go check out. So we're gonna head up there now, go check it out and see what it's about. But it's pretty cold out for me. Gloves, I brought my earmuffs, and I also have some hot hands in my bag, so we'll see how that goes. Um, stop laughing at me. Hopefully it'll be okay. We're actually surprised of how much there is to do here. You know, we just like to explore any city that we're in, restaurants. I was gonna say new places to eat. We love new yeah, places to eat. Yeah, we love new places to eat. <laughs> But restaurants, museums, anything outdoors, if the weather's nice enough, we really enjoy going outdoors. So now we're headed to Lids Inn, a Winnebago RV dealership that's one mile from Winnebago Industries. So we just finished walking through Litston's RV dealership. They were nice enough to let us test drive a Winnebago, which is very kind of them because we're not ready to buy. They were still nice enough to, to take the time and spend time with us and answer all of our silly questions that we may have for them. So now we're headed to Pamel Park. It is a park and a campground. Even though it's closed in the winter, we just wanted to see what it looks like and what's there. It looks like they have about 36 RV sites and also some tent camping sites. So we're just gonna go check it out. Hey everybody, so now we're at Pamel Park. We're gonna walk around this park and, and see, see what we can see. I know there's a suspended bridge and I saw Frisbee golf as we were coming in. And they also at this park has a nice river. You can drop canoes in here and paddle. <laughs> Whatever you do in a canoe. <laughs> but they also have hookups all along here as well, which we weren't expecting. So this is like right across the street from the Winnebago factory and there's electric hookups with pull through sites. And then as you entered, there was dump stations and water. We did not see where you check in. There must be something that we must have missed. So now we're headed to our last stop in Iowa. 
here we are at Diamond Joe Casino. Our hotel manager told us if we would come out here and sign up with Diamond Card, it's a free card, that they will give us a free dinner buffet that's normally $20, so. We're here. We're here. <laughs> so that's why we're here. We're here for the free dinner. <laughs> and I think we get $10 a piece to gamble with. And we were thinking, maybe, just maybe, we'll win ourselves an RV. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that if we came here too early, that that free buffet dinner would not actually be so free. What are you, what are you doing? This is my lucky spork made by Human Gear. It's got a fork on one side and a spoon on the other. What, what are you doing with it? I'm going to bring it in. Uh, no, you're not. I'm not? I'm not bringing it in. He's not bringing that in. It's not that lucky. All, All right, right, we'll let you guys know. <laughs> See we'll, you guys later. I don't think we're allowed to film in the casino, so we'll let you know if we want ourselves an RV or not. Sounds or good. lost the $10. Okay, so we had our free dinner. It was very good. It had tons of choices. It was a buffet. It was really good. Use the word free dinner loosely. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't as free as we thought it was going to be. <laughs> so you got your card, and then you had to earn 10 points by playing slot machines, which we earned pretty quickly. I won about $55. I initially won, but then I lost. I guess it's between fun. the two of us, though, we broke, broke even or maybe came out ahead? Or... No, we were down. Down? Really? We were down. Man. Don't worry about that. 